Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about old sneaky Amazon. So hopefully this will jog some memory. Recognize that screenshot? Well, it's from the movie Minority Report. Remember when Tom Cruise's character walked into the mall and all of those ads popped up depending on what his personal taste were like? Well, we are definitely entering a world of Minority Report. There is no pre-crime section yet, but with Google and with Amazon purchasing technology for their smart devices. It's definitely a world where these two advertising companies, yes, I said advertising companies, will be able to know what it is that you want and it will be directed to you from all areas of your life. Not yet, but it is coming. Unless you've been living in a cave, you probably know that Amazon purchased iRobot last week. And there could be several reasons why they want iRobot. But one of the things about iRobot is that it kind of has a camera on it. And the current technology allows it to map your home. That way they can target ads based on the size of your house. But probably they want to improve on this little thing here. So if you're not familiar with what that is, that's Amazon's own Astro. It's basically an Alexa or Echo device on wheels that can follow you around. But it's supposed to be convenient for you if you only have a solitary Echo device. You can just talk to Astro to have it maneuver your smart home. Now, before we go down the path with Amazon and smart homes and all that other stuff, keep in mind, even as a tech guy and someone who's in the cybersecurity, um, <laughs> Kind of embarrassed to say that in our home, <laughs> guess what we have that's monitoring us. We've got an iRobot Roomba. And to make matters worse, let's see if we can get this going. Set that down and oh my lord, <laughs> we've got the mop too. So <laughs> it's not like we're that concerned about smart home stuff, but it's pretty darn convenient. And that's the challenge with a lot of the devices that Amazon are starting to include in their inventory of smart home stuff that they've recently purchased. Another thing in the news that's kind of concern, concerning with Amazon and with Google, but we're focusing on Amazon. Let's talk about in the news where it turned out that Amazon turned in the recordings of 11 households to authorities without a search warrant concerning ring doorbell camera footage. Now, I don't know what you think about that, but I think it's wrong. You can't give out that information to law enforcement just for the sake that they can do it. So obviously the spotlight is on Amazon as far as what they are doing in their ultimate goal. Like I said at the beginning of the video, ultimate goal with Amazon is to create a world where they know everything about what you like. That way they can better target you with ads. And Amazon's game plan has been this for at least 20 years. Because over a 20 year period, Amazon's acquired at least 114 companies, including the Roomba iRobot purchase. And as you can see, here are some of the companies that Amazon has purchased. So Internet Movie Database, Audible, we're talking, you know, 10, 20 years ago. Zappos, Twitch, Whole Foods, Zoox, I guess that's what that is, and MGM. So all areas. And I think the red flag probably should have gone up when Amazon purchased Whole Foods. Way to get you to spend your whole paycheck at Whole Foods to shop groceries and it's just an interesting aspect so with the introduction of 
Amazon smart home devices, Amazon had the ability to listen in and figure out everything that you do in your household. Doesn't matter if you've got an Echo Dot or an Echo Show or an Echo whatever they currently have now, Amazon's listening to your every word. And <laughs> I'm looking off to my right here because there's actually an Amazon device that's sitting at my desk. Now currently it's turned off so that I don't say the magic word in order to activate the device, but even with the red light that is on my Amazon device, I'm sure it's probably listening to some aspect of what I'm saying. Kind of like a glowing red eye over there with Amazon and all it's doing. But there are other products that Amazon has incorporated in their inventory of products to monitor your smart home. One of the things that we own and Amazon owns is Blink camera system. Now I have to say with Amazon, when they purchase technology or take over technology companies, they do an excellent job. I mean, think about your Ring doorbell. How often has that device failed? With our Ring doorbell, it's been pretty good. You know, sometimes in colder temperatures, it'll goof up. But for the most part, it's reliable and obviously it helps us stay alert to when someone's at the front door. And if you're like me, even though someone's at the front door ringing on the ring doorbell, I just stare at my phone like this, especially if you didn't call. I'm like, I wonder who that is. We're not expecting company. So same thing with the Blink camera system. We've got Blink, easy to set up. All you need is some AA batteries, the Blink controller to access up to 10 cameras, and all of your footage is recorded to the cloud. It's like a tech dream for the non-tech because these devices are easy to set up. But most people don't think about the implications of having stuff saved to the cloud. And that's what Amazon is counting on, definitely. And think about good old Prime. Two factions of Prime. You've got Prime Video, so Amazon can tailor videos directly to you. And of course, you've got Prime Shipping. So if you want to log on to that Amazon app, you can definitely click on the app, order what you want, and Amazon obviously is gonna keep track of it, and you get your products. That's why I do a lot of shopping offline as opposed to with Amazon. I don't want them to know everything that I wish for and desire. But again, the whole purpose is to target ads to you. And that's scary because it's bad enough if you have Amazon targeting your social media accounts as far as what you've looked at and sending ads to suggest stuff. But with your mobile devices, and even if in your home, you don't see it so much on your, if you have an Echo Dot, but with an Echo Show with Amazon, you can definitely see things that are suggested for you to do or add to your shopping list, or even recipes that are directed to you that maybe will give Amazon a hint of the things that you need in your household in order to keep it functioning. So that all begs the question, if you have a smart home and your smart home is filled with Amazon devices, and let's take a step back for a moment. I don't know if you knew this or not, but your iRobot or Roombas have cameras on it. Now the whole idea with the whole Roomba camera thing is for it to be able to avoid items in your home, like say, oh, socks or whatever unmentionables you have laying on the floor, or toys, or even dog poo or cat poo, depending. But they can definitely take advantage of those devices and use them to spy on you and figure out what's going on. So again, if you have concerns about smart home stuff, what should you do? Well, unfortunately, if you're really concerned, the only thing that you can do is stop using smart home stuff. Even, whether it's Google or Amazon, these companies are or do have a side hustle when it comes to your data. And you've paid for these products, so you think that you would have full access to them and you wouldn't have that information stored on the web, but that's simply not the case. So again, if you're concerned, Stop using it.
That's not the end of the video. <laughs> Just don't do it. But if you want to keep your smart home devices, there are several things that you should do at least to make sure that your information doesn't fall into the hands of cyber criminals. And I know that was kind of a killjoy as far as what you should do if you are happy, if you were concerned about Amazon tracking your stuff. I hate to tell you, really nothing you could do except stop using it and don't buy smart home stuff. Go the old school way if you need, or you can look at companies that say that they don't collect your data. There's several companies out there that you can have a smart home and they don't collect your data. Google and Amazon aren't in those categories. But again, the main thing is if you decide to stick with your smart home stuff, several things you need to do to protect yourself from cyber criminals that are aware that more and more devices are being con connected to your Google and your Amazon accounts. So the first thing that you wanna do is to beware of credential stuffing. And for those of you that don't know what credential stuffing is, that is the method of cyber criminals going on the dark web to find your login information and using that to see if they can access your smart home stuff. So Ring obviously uses a different app and website than just plain old Amazon. So a lot of that is not necessarily connected with your Amazon account. But let's say that you purchased Blink or you purchased a Ring device on your Amazon account and cyber criminals were able to figure out what your Amazon login is, they may log into Ring or into your Blink camera system or into your iRobot app. I mean, all it takes is for them to download the app with your credentials and they'll use your credentials or your username and password information that's sitting on the dark web and log into your devices. There have been many instances of this happening with smart cameras and ring door or ring cameras as far as people having their credentials leaked and criminals logging in and spying on folks. It's not that the actual device has been hacked, it's that the account has been hacked and once you get into the account, you got access to everything. So please change those usernames and passwords for those web-based accounts on a regular basis. I would say once a quarter would be good Something else that you should do too is quit using old ratty passwords and start using passphrases to keep those online accounts safe. Such phrases as, I almost said yellow duck, but that's a bad one. But what about a purple duck? That's a good example of a passphrase as opposed to a password. How about pink puppy? Or you can't use pink elephant, everyone knows that one. What about pink labradoodle? That's a mouthful, isn't it? So those are the things that you wanna get into the process of when it comes to using passphrases for your online accounts as opposed to passwords. Another thing that you can do is to verify that Alexa, when it comes to your Echo devices, is not saving your recordings. Many different ways to do that, but the easiest is from the Alexa app. If you go into the app, you can definitely go into privacy, make sure that automatic delete recordings is off. You can also delete your smart home history and tell Alexa to use, not to use voice recordings to improve Amazon services. That's huge because if someone gets into your Amazon account, which is something I forgot about, not your Amazon, but your Alexa account, that controls all your smart home stuff. So that means a criminal could get in and start controlling smart light bulbs or anything that you've got connected to your smart home printers, door openers, you name it. If it's connected to your Alexa smart home, criminals can get in there and log in and take over everything. It includes climate controls, which are connected to your Alexa account. So change those passwords. Again, it's not gonna prevent Amazon from snooping on you, but at the same time, you wanna keep that information out of the hands of cyber criminals. One last thing you can do is to make sure that you're turning off Amazon Sidewalk. If you've got an Echo Show, that's just a matter of going into the settings of your show device and telling it to turn off the feature for Amazon Sidewalk. For those of you that don't know, Amazon Sidewalk is to help create a cohesive, interconnected network of devices that allow you to stay connected to the Amazon network. 
in essence, it's sharing your Wi-Fi network with your neighbors. So if your neighbor is having some Wi-Fi issues, by golly, your Alexa device is more than willing, without your permission, to share internet settings with your neighbor so that they can stay connected with their devices. So keep that in mind. And finally, what about when you're surfing the web and you don't want Amazon to track what you're doing when you're using your smart device or your laptop, not really a laptop, but a tablet. You don't want that stuff spied on. So if you use safe web browsers, such as Tor, T-O-R, or Brave, or just using the search setting of DuckDuckGo, and then finally, surfing in incognito mode in your favorite browser. You don't necessarily have to use Brave or Tor browser to stay safe, or even Opera as a browser. You can just go into incognito mode, which will suppress your cookies, and it prevents websites like Amazon from seeing where you've been so that they can't target ads to you. That's a lot to consider. But I hope I was able to provide some useful information as far as making sure that you're keeping your Amazon account safe and what you need to do and be informed about some of the stuff that Amazon's purchasing and if you've got those products, what that means to you. So if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. Love to have the discussion with you to find out what to do about those Amazon devices. And with every video, it doesn't matter where you're watching this, be sure to comment, like, and share this video. I know it's some good content. Share with your friends so that they can stay informed about all the changes that are going on in technology. So my goal with these videos is to always open up people to a whole new world of experience, ideas, and possibilities when it comes to technology. I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.